why narcissists turn against you. Why they become unfriendly towards you. Why they don't have any sympathy for you. The love bombing phase doesn't last long. And then the narcissist becomes very disappointed with you. They become sad and displeased because in their minds you have failed to fulfill their hopes and expectations. When they idealized you, they saw you as being perfect. They had to see you in this way in order to function. They projected this idealized view of themselves onto you. But of course, no one is perfect. We all make faults and mistakes. We all have flaws and imperfections. So it was inevitable that the narcissist was going to be disappointed. They expected to receive this perfect relationship partner who would do and be everything they want. This person who was an extension of themselves. This person who would reflect back to them how great they are. And it isn't only their relationship partners that they do this with. They also see their children as an extension of themselves. Where the child is either all good or all bad. The child is either a convenience or a problem. And this all depends on what the child is able to reflect back to the narcissist. When the narcissist turns against you, they will criticize you. They will indicate your faults in a disapproving way. They will show disinterest in anything you have to say. They will compare you to other people. They won't talk to you as much. When the narcissist turns against you, you might feel very confused. You may experience hopelessness. Because you've just gone from this fantasy world where everything seems to be perfect to this world where you have now lost everything you thought you had. The narcissist made you believe that you were more than good enough for them. They made you believe that you were perfect. Until they then turned against you. Which then leaves you questioning yourself and everything that you experienced. It makes you feel like you are missing something. It makes you feel like you're not good enough. And you may then want to return to them for validation. Because you want to know what you did wrong. You want to know what happened to this fantasy world where everything was perfect. You want to re-establish what you once had. Because although the narcissist lured you in with a false character, for you it was a real experience. It was an event or occurrence that left an impression on you. It gave you an idea, feeling and opinion about them. In some situations, the narcissist isn't even interested in the person they're with. And they are only with them to gain something materialistic. In these situations, the target may experience intermittent reinforcement, where the narcissist has a conditioning schedule 
in which the target does not receive a reward each time they perform a designed behaviour. They are rewarded for their behaviour at seemingly random intervals. But either way, a narcissist cannot experience love or intimacy. The narcissist will invalidate you and make you feel like you're not good enough, which then makes you work harder. It makes you want to prove yourself to them so that you can re-establish the idealization phase. But the narcissist will continue to display their opposition and dislike for you. They will experience temper tantrums. Because you're not the idealized partner that they expect you to be. They become this cruel and oppressive dictator where they inflict harsh and authoritarian treatment on you. Because you didn't meet their standards or expectations. You didn't reflect back to them what they wanted to see in themselves. But even though you're not this idealized partner that they wanted you to be. They will still remain in the relationship. They will still choose to be around you so that they can take revenge on you so that they can harm you in return for the injury or wrong that they believe they have suffered at your hands. They will be very angry and aggressive towards you for failing to be the perfect partner that they imagined you to be. They will remain in the relationship to continue extracting supply from you to continue extracting your attention and admiration. You continue to pursue them with fear and anxiety in an attempt to re-establish the idealization phase. Some narcissists will remain in the relationship just to take advantage of your body or your money or anything else you have to offer while going back and forth between seemingly trying to pull you back in and then pushing you away again which leaves you very confused. It leaves you unable to think clearly. Although the idealization phase didn't last long, it made you feel attached to them. You continue to remember this stage even when they turn against you. It makes you want things to go back to how it used to be. It makes you put in more of your time and effort. But the narcissist uses intermittent reinforcement. They don't always validate you. So even when you go out of your way to do something nice for them, you still doubt yourself. You still wonder if what you did was good enough. Because you just went from being this person who was supposed to be perfect to someone who is now completely worthless. Now the narcissist is doing everything they can to humiliate you. They are trying to make you feel ashamed and foolish by injuring your dignity and pride. And this is when they will discard you and move on to someone else. 
someone who they will triangulate with you. Someone who they may display ostentatiously in order to provoke envy or admiration to show defiance. To show bold disobedience, resistance and opposition. While even a normal person may display opposition during a breakup and say some hurtful things. With the narcissist, it affects everyone and everything. It makes its way into every aspect of your life. And it's something that you have experienced throughout the entire relationship. You have experienced their anger and their desire to hurt you. They have a deep need to humiliate and destroy you and strip you of your dignity and pride. So even when they discard you, that doesn't mean they're just going to let you move on with your life. They will start a smear campaign against you. They will stalk and harass you. They will threaten and intimidate you. Because they're not just trying to hurt you. They're trying to destroy you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonate, resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries. You can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.